Ah, uh, ooh! Spartans, we are back with another episode here, taking some chart requests from the Discord. I hope everybody is having a great day. Let me see if we're all set here on the charts and everything. I'm going to exit out of these two. And we're going to take some chart requests. Bitcoin breaking down below 40K, folks. Can't say we didn't call it here. Okay, we're looking for 32 to 35K for a bounce on BTC. That's going to be right around that 50-week moving average right there. That'd be a good, nice, healthy pullback for the market. Nice, healthy pullback just like we got right here. Boom, and then what happened after that? We ripped. So again, we went up for 18 weeks in a row. Okay, as traders, we're not looking to buy after 18 weeks in a row up. I know everyone was excited about the Bitcoin ETF and BlackRock coming out. And yeah, what a great time to buy, right? No. Okay, no. You do the opposite of what retail and everything's telling you to do. The second these news outlets start telling us, giving us exciting news, folks, that's when we should be looking to offload. Okay, we saw this signal come right here on Market Cipher back on the 18th. That was about a month ago. So you had about a week and a half to take profits up here between 42 and 50K. Okay, never trying to time the top. We're just using the signals, folks. Green means buy, red means sell. Okay, we want to anticipate the red dots. Okay, we want to sell like up in this area right here before the dot comes. And we want to buy the second that that green dot comes on the chart. So if you guys missed this week's club call, I'd highly recommend you go watch it. Okay, I think it was one of the better uh, club calls that we've done. You can come over here to the Discord and get access to that. That's right here. Okay, we go over the charts. We go over the cheat sheet. Okay, I'll give it to you right now, folks. I think we're right here in this section. I think this next round of green dots that we get, because the dots always change, right? It doesn't stay red forever. Eventually, right, we're going to get that green print and we're going to get that reversal. So it's just going to take time. I think we're probably two, three, maybe four weeks out. Okay, I think, again, we're going to come down here to around 32 to 35K on Bitcoin. And if that keeps happening, if Bitcoin keeps falling, of course, the altcoins are going to follow with it, but that's okay. We are looking for buying opportunities, folks. We just had a massive macro breakout on all the charts. Okay, the macro trend is now up. It was down for about a year and a half. Okay, we broke right here back in May. And yes, we called the bottom down here at about 18K on the channel. If you guys were around, I know some of you were uh, in the Discord. A lot of people have quit. A lot of people have given up because they couldn't stand the, the two years of just doing nothing and not making anything, right? Just watching their accounts get depleted. But now here we are, the few, the proud, the Spartans, baby, we're back. And we're hitting some chart requests today. So again, that's our stance on the markets right now. We're going to expect the pullback probably over the next month or so. I think we find a bottom. And when we hit the happening, I think it's just all up from there, folks. So with that being said, let's hit these requests over here from the, from the Spartan Army, baby. Let's see where we left off here. I think we left off uh, right here on Hugan. Let's do CSPR. And if you guys got chart requests, go ahead and get them in over here. Once I get 10 requests, you know, 10 to 15 requests, I'm going to be doing videos. I don't have the time to do videos every day, but if I get 10 to 15 requests from you guys, I'm happy to jump on and make a video. And again, it's all about community. It's all about coming up together, folks. That's the greatest thing about this is we can all hold each other accountable, okay? It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about all of us coming up together, folks. And I feel like we got one of the best, strategy, the best strategies in the game right now. And if we stick to it, I think we can really really benefit over the next year, two, maybe three years, okay, as these markets uh, go into a bull trend. So we'll see what happens, folks. Strap up. Let's take some requests here. CSPR is the, the uh, first one we're watching here, okay, and again, we trade a weekly chart, folks, so we don't trade the monthly or the daily. Yes, we look at them, but we are looking to place our trades based on the weekly chart. We're, lo we're, we're longer-term swing traders. We're looking for trades anywhere from two to six months, you know, and sometimes even years, okay? We're using market cipher to identify our entries and identify our exits, okay? We're using this yearly moving average right here. All the trading rules are over here in the Discord, right under trading rules. So the first rule is we are long-term investors trading the weekly, okay? CSPR, we're on a weekly chart. Great. Rule number one is check. Rule number two, the asset is trending above the 50-week moving average. That is that light blue line. Is that trending above that line right now? No, it's not. It's getting rejected by it, meaning it is it is being used as resistance. So therefore, this stock is in a downtrend. It's actually in a consolidation pattern, but we are in a downtrend. Okay. So let me just go back to Bitcoin real quick and reference this for you guys here. Okay. Here was the perfect perfect trade setup. What happened? We broke out over the 50, right? Bitcoin was in a massive downtrend for a very long period of time. If you were buying during this time, right, you're you're you you weren't you weren't you weren't doing it right. 
Okay, because again, you are trading against the trend. We want to trade with the trend. So we want to trade assets that are going up. Therefore, okay, if the if the asset is trending above the light blue line, okay, that means we're in an uptrend. Okay, and what happened here back in April? Boom, it broke out above it, pulled back into it. There was a nice trade. Pulled back into it. There was a really nice trade. And what are we doing now? We're pulling back into it. So again, we got to be patient and wait for the next round of green dots. But CSPR, I wouldn't touch this thing. Yeah, I think there's a lot better things to trade right now, like Bitcoin. I'd, I'd rather buy Bitcoin because, again, we're getting rejected on that 50. I want to buy assets above that. We want to look for assets trending above that 50. What's next? Shout out to the Overkill Army, baby. IMX. Okay, here's one that broke out. So this is a good one. So this, I like this one a lot better here than uh, CSPR. Okay, let's watch for a pullback on this one. Again, the next round of green dots, guys, I think is going to be a massive, massive opportunity to take position. So be patient, be patient, and wait till these things print. Okay, wait till the dots come. You'll never go broke waiting for confirmation. Okay, so if this thing pulls back down to 124 or so, I think that'd be an excellent place to take an entry. Let's wait, let's wait on it, though. Let's wait on it. Wait for the green dot. Okay, good uptrend. Okay, we broke out above it. Now let's wait for the pullback and the signal from Market Cipher. Right, Market Cipher there, Hugan. Thank you for the request. Here, let me drop those charts for you real quick, too. Boom. Boom. I'm paranoid. I'm tripping. Yeah. Been sipping. Um. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Next up, we got Tim. Tim Tibbo. Hey, he's been a big asset to the community uh, over the past weeks to months. He's been an OG for a while. He's the newest uh, general in the server. So Tim Tebow is now an admin of uh, the Discord, if you guys did not know. His first request is going to be Oracle. Okay, this is a stock. Okay, here's a really nice trend here. Okay, this is a beautiful double bottom right there. So if you guys know the double bottom pattern, okay, it comes down, it bounces, it comes back, it retests, and it bounces again. And it's getting a nice, nice bounce right here. Nice trade set up here on... Uh, on Oracle here. Okay, it's a higher cap coin. But again, guys, look at this. Trending above the 50. Okay, you could buy it into the 50 there. Okay, you could buy it into the 50 there. You could buy it into the 50 there. What are we getting right now? Boom, a nice big bounce from Oracle. This thing looks really good on the weekly. I mean, this thing looks really, really good. Okay, it does have resistance right there at about 120. That'd be a, probably a place to look to take profits. But again, we're not taking profits till this, till this market, or I'm sorry, this stochastic. Okay, that's that blue RSI right there that you guys see. Wait till that thing gets up more toward 100, okay, like it did right there. Boom, there's your profit-taking opportunity right there. Okay, bang, you took profits there, and it, it continued. Again, when, we're not looking for home runs, guys. We're, we're just looking for, you know, we're, we're looking for singles and doubles, okay? I mean, this is this is kind of a, this is a high, uh, high market cap coin, so it doesn't move like crypto does and goes like 100, 2, 3, 400% on the moves, but uh, this one's nice for 20, 30% moves. Again, from 110 to 120, I think that's about a 10% banger right there. But again, the chart is very strong here. Very strong uptrend and a very nice bounce right there off of that 50-week moving average. Okay, so the stop loss would probably be at the bottom of this week's candle at 106. And it's sitting at about 111 right now. That one looks good. I just messed that up there. Oops. Let's see here. Bang. Okay, the next one's PATH. P-A-T-H. This is another stock. Again, nice, nice breakout here above the 50. Good call out here, Tim. Okay, look at this. Big downtrend. This thing's been at a downtrend since 2021. Boom, it hit the bottom. Okay, we consolidated, consolidated. Finally had the big breakout, and you're getting a nice, uh, nice candle this week right there off the nine. I'd set your stop loss at 22.58 there, okay? And again, it's, I mean, it's above the 50, so there's no green dot yet. But again, you can anticipate it with this green candle because that is a reversal candle. And uh, I put the stop loss right there at 2280, what is that, 2258? That, that one looks good. I, I really like this one. I really like that one. And again, if it drops back down here, you could just average down at 1950. But this thing looks like it wants to turn and go the other way. Let me look at the daily real quick. Yeah, that's a big old bounce right there off the daily. So uh, watch for some continuation on this one. But that's a nice... Nice breakout there on path. Again, I don't know much about it. I still got to set up that bot, Tim. 
so I can I can we can get the fundamentals of these projects. If we had that bot in here and we can just type in the ticker and it will tell us what it is and stuff like that, that would be awesome. Uh, T O Y, I think that's Toyota. Toyota Motor Company. Okay, and again, what do we see here, folks? We see a break above that 50 week. Oh my goodness, dude. What happened to Toyota? They went from 96 all the way down to $13. Jesus. That's insane. That's like really crazy. But now you're seeing the breakout here. I, I like Toyota too here, Tim. I, I don't know what the heck happened right here. I mean, that's a total. I mean, that's they must have they must have did a, a stock split or something. That's an 84% drop. Holy shit, I thought Toyota was like legit. They're probably just raising cash during this during this uh, economy. I mean, this bad economy. It's been awful for cars. I was I was telling the Spartans in chat the other day that that uh, every car salesman I know is is struggling right now. I mean, no one's buying cars cuz interest rates are so high and they can't afford the payment. But Toyota looks good here. I mean, it just looks like it's continuing up. I mean, it's making its way back up. I mean that's just an absolute annihilation there. So if you wanted to play this one, I I just continue to use the the weeklies as the stops. So like 1921 there, you could enter. But it looks like it's pretty common pattern here. No one really paying attention to it. It looks like it's on the OTC market. Is that one not tradable on the uh Is that one not tradable on the uh what's it called? The NYSE? Okay, here's DYDX. This is a this is a cryptocurrency. And what do we have here, folks? We have a breakout over the 50 and a pullback right into it. Current support on this one's going to be right there at about $2.20. That's the bottom of those wicks. Again, wait on the confirmation. Just wait on the dot on this one. Okay, wait for that confirmation. I forgot to I forgot to drop drop uh, Toyota over here. Yeah, I what I would like to know what happened. They, they must have did a stock split or something cuz that's just that's insane. I mean, 84% in a matter of a couple months. That's like them going bankrupt. FTM, another crypto. DYDX, so that one doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. Again, just wait on confirmation. We want to wait for that green dot. That's rule number, I believe, number five is boom. Green dot is when we enter, okay? We want to anticipate. We want to, we want to wait for confirmation and anticipate at the same time. FTM, this is an OG altcoin here, Phantom. Okay, nice breakout over this one. It's just been consolidating here for a long time. I mean, the trend is very strong. It held that It held that uh, 15 cent level pretty good there. Okay, we broke out over the 50. Now we're pulling back. Let's see where that green dot comes. I'd watch for a bounce right there off of about 25 cents. That's the level you want to watch. Again, wait on that confirmation for an entry here. You should have got out, you know, right here at about 38. Okay, you could have re-entered right there and got out at, you know, or 60. But I mean, that's a two, three hundred percent trade off that green dot. I mean, you're, there's a hundred percent, there's two hundred percent. Bang. Thank you very much. I'm on my way to find the next trade. Okay. So again, watch for a bounce on 25 cents on FTM. Doesn't look, doesn't look great, but doesn't look bad. We're sitting right on that 50 right now. GAL. Another cryptocurrency here. Okay, just right up into that 50, getting rejected. Okay, and a red dot. So again, as long as the last dot is red, the trend is down. And we're below, we're below it. Believe it or not, we're below that 50. So you're buying it right at the 50 right now. If you want to play the continuation, I'd wait on the green dot. Wait for the signal to come. Boom, there will be your entry. You can play that. As of right now, it's just sitting at that 50. So the reason we use the 50-week moving average, guys, is because that's the yearly average price. Think about it. There's 50, 54 weeks in a year. So some people use the 55. I just use the 50 because I think it's more common. And the 50 week is 50 weeks, the last 50 weeks. So you're really just getting the average yearly price. So if we can buy bounces off the yearly price or at the yearly price, that's where we want to be getting into the names we want to own for the long term. Okay, and then when, when they go parabolic and they get way off, they get way off of the uh, off of the 50. Let me use a different example here. I'll use AVAX because I know this one's on the list for today. But for example, look at AVAX here. So there was the yearly average price, right? That 50 week. So it had a big breakout above it. And then all of a sudden everybody's excited about AVAX, but guess what? We were 55, 56% off of the yearly price. So the people that are buying up here in this area are sheep. They're the sheep. They're the people watching Jim Cramer saying, oh, Jim Cramer said buy Bitcoin, so I'm gonna buy Bitcoin. Okay, we're not those people, folks. We are the overkill army. 
Okay, we're doing what they're doing before they even know what they're doing. Okay, so again, we want to buy at the average price. Buy at that 50-week moving average. And AVAX looks really strong here, folks. Like, it looks really, really strong. This is a big breakout. Okay, now we're just waiting for what? We're waiting for the green dot. And we're getting pretty dang close to that 50-week moving average there. So I'd love to see AVAX pull back to about $20. Okay, if $20 hits on AVAX or $20... Five dollars hits on AVAX. I think that'd be a great place to enter. We'll know when the bottom is in when we get this green dot on Market Cipher. Okay, be very, very patient. But again, this is a big macro breakout right here on the weekly chart. That is a beautiful breakout. So again, waiting for that pullback. I'd like to buy this one around nineteen to twenty-two dollars. That'd be that'd be killer. That'd be killer. That's AVAX. Let me get let me get this uh, other chart in here for you, Tim. I keep forgetting to drop these charts. Maybe I should just do this after the videos, but screw it. Here we are, huh? We're still getting her done. Here's Holo. Okay, nice breakout here. And again, we're right back into the 50. So big breakout. We did get rejected off that 200 week. Okay, I don't know why all those lines are on there, but again, just now breaking out over the 50, right? We were in a, this is what happens when we break out over the 50, folks. We break out, okay? We consolidate and we freaking rip. Okay, that's that same bear trap I was telling you guys about. Okay, at the beginning of the video, we break out, we pull back, we rip. Okay, like I said, I think the next round of green dots is going to be the golden opportunity to enter on crypto. Why? Because we're just now breaking the trend, folks. We have broken our year to two year trend to the downside. We have broken out of that. And now we're, we're pulling back. They're giving us a bear trap here. People are freaking out because we're down 30%. Okay. But we just ran 184%. So it's like 184% gain minus 30% is still 150% gain, which means we're still in an uptrend, folks. So with that being said, let's be patient here. There could be more lows. Okay. If you have cash, get ready to deploy it. If you have crypto that you want to hold till the top of the next bull run, which is coming, Okay, it normally happens about a year and a half to two years after, after the happening, which is coming up in April. Okay, so let's be patient. Okay, there could be more lows. It's okay. You don't have to panic sell. Just hold the line. Go drive some Uber. Go get a job at McDonald's. Go do something to get more cash ready to deploy on this next round of green dots. Because again, the last round came in, in September, October, folks. It was September or October. It is now December or January. So you're talking about a, what is that? September, October, November, December, January. You're talking about a four-month span here of going up. So again, we could see another, I mean, these dots came a month ago. We called these out about a month ago. Okay, and, and it doesn't happen right away because it takes, these moves take time to develop here on the weekly chart. Okay, they take months to develop. So you know, if I if if this thing's gonna come down for the next month or two, we could come down to a buck forty. But again, look at it; it's sitting right on the yearly average price. Okay, most people are buying up here. Okay, fifty percent off of it because all the influencers and Jim Cramer saying buy at that time, and then they sell it to you, and then they sell it off, and then boom, you're down thirty percent. But that's okay. Hold the line, average down because guess what? We're at the average price, and I'm not saying buy hot or holo right here. But technically, it did break out. It did get rejected on a 200 week, which is okay. Okay, and now it's pulling back right into the 50. So again, the best thing you could do right here in this situation is wait for Market Cipher to give you the green dot to be absolutely sure when the bottom is in. It's not 100%, but if you're trading it using the EMA strategy I talked about, right? Obviously, it doesn't work very well when we're in a downtrend, right? It doesn't work very well when we're in a downtrend if you're looking at the dot. But if you look at it when we're in an uptrend, it's a lot different, okay? It brings it from about a, uh, I would say, probably a, a you know, 70% shot, probably up to a 90 if you're, if you're taking into consideration this 50 EMA on these green dots. I mean, that's how, that's how hot they are. If you can be patient enough to, to wait and deploy until that thing comes, I, I, I think you're going to beat the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the uh, retailers out there over time, over time. Right, some people might have their one-hit wonders, but eventually they'll lose because they're not really taking a, using a strategy and you know actually using technical analysis like we're doing here on this channel. So, Tim, my brother, thank you for those requests.
What else we got here? Uh, S. Webb says Twilio and Net. I like these. I like both these requests. I'm a tech guy. I run a marketing company. I run a digital marketing company and I use both of these services. So I like these requests and you're looking at a big fat cross on Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is actually owned by Amazon. It's part of their, their web services. Um, very, very, very credible company in my opinion. I mean, I use them and you're getting a green dot signal right here. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking this one here, brother. Net, uh, given the buy sig. Given the buy signal here, stop loss at the yellow line or an entry. Okay. And that's rule number six on our trading rules over here. That's rule number six. You got to use a stop loss. Okay. And we determine our stop losses based on the green dots as well. So when the green dot comes, that's our place. To, that's, our, that's where we play. That's where we're in the game. Okay. Boom. We're in the game right there. So we'd be entering here, right? And we'd be setting a stop loss at the bottom of that candle because if, if it if if the if the price breaks below this green line or this green candle, this green dot is either going to go away, or if it happened the following week, it would print a red because it's telling you this candle is the reversal candle. That's what it's saying. That's what it's telling you. This is this is bullish divergence, right? So our trend is going from down to up, and the up is just now starting this week. So again, we gotta we gotta use the stop loss. The stop loss is always at the bottom of the candle that it's printing on. And you know, sometimes I'll I'll move it down to the bottom of the last candle, but you're taking your stop loss from about a seven percent stop to you know about an, a ten percent stop. So I mean it's really how you want to play it. You know, I can't say which one's a better strategy to use, but with this breakout here, I mean, that's a big fat candle. Like, I'd be playing that candle because last time we got a candle like that was right here and we went up for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. I mean, that was six weeks of just going straight up, okay? This looks really bullish, and I like the fundamentals of net. I actually know what net does. And, I mean, the high was $200 back in 2021. So if you're looking at the monthly, too, that thing's just crossing over, brother. I, I, I like net. I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer of net here. Okay, I'm actually going to drop that one in, in our uh, free Discord. If you guys are watching this and you're not a Spartan, you can get access to the free stuff over here in the Discord. Okay, we got chart analysis. We got news. I mean, it's, I mean, if you're if you're not in it, you're, you're probably just losing. <laughs> not trying to be cocky, but I mean, there's a lot of valuable information over here, folks. I mean, we got a community that all looks out for each other. What more could you ask for? You know what I'm saying? What more could you ask for? Boom. Net giving the buy signal there again. That's a nice setup. Stop loss has to be at 79. That's really, really nice down there. That's real nice. Uh, oh, he said Twilio too. Twilio. Twilio is a texting platform. Same setup here. Same exact setup here. So... Again, where are we at, guys? We're above the 50-week, Spartans. We're above the 50-week. We're bouncing off the 50-week. Wow. My brother, who called these out? My boy S. Webb in the building, baby. Let's go. Nice. Okay. I use a stop at 67 on this one. Wow, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, high on this was up there at 380, 400,000. Wow. Twilio's a credible company too. I mean, they 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 offer a lot of services that that businesses use in the corporate world. Um, and yeah, I mean, you're talking. I mean, if we go back to all time highs, eventually, you're talking about a 500 percent move. So nice, my, my brother uh, S Web. Nice callouts, brother. This that's what I'm talking about. And look at that, boom, green dot right there. Again, just use your stop loss if you're. I, I'd be in on this right now because we're sitting right at the 50. Okay, 67, uh, 67, 63 is the level to watch. Boom, I'd be playing this green candle right here with a with a stop loss right there at 67. Good stuff here. Yeah, buddy. Oh. 
Nice. Good call outs. I love it. Okay, so I'd actually put this on look our looking to buy list. Same with net. I'd be putting net on there too. And guys, we get the signals from this. So I'm actually adding Twilio into our uh into our list here. Uh and I got alerts set up over here. If you're a Spartan, if you're a member of the Discord, you actually this thing calls out when the green dots show on the chart. So you literally never miss a signal if it, if you're looking at our watch list. We have about 65 to 70 names uh, that we look over every week. So you can never miss a signal if you're over there in the Discord. The membership is actually less than a Starbucks coffee every month. Right? Sacrifice a Big Mac. Don't even eat Big Macs. Don't even eat fast food, folks. You got to take care of your body. You got to take care of your health. What else we got? We got near. N-E-A-R. If you guys want the charts, I, I'm, I'm going to just drop the videos because it, it takes a lot of time for me to drop all those. If you guys want the charts, just request them over there. Uh, but for the most part, you know, if I'm making these videos, I expect you guys to watch them because uh, I am taking the time out to, you know, do this. And I also appreciate a like and comment and stuff like that. I mean, that's, uh, you guys don't have no idea how far that stuff goes. Uh, three, three, uh, 37's level on this one. I think I dropped this one over there for you, smart ass. Uh, but yeah, 337, nice, nice breakout here on near. Again, breakout over the 50, pull back into it. Okay, let's pull back on into it. What are we waiting for? We're waiting on the green dot confirmation. So I can't say that's going to be the bottom there, but that's right where the 50 week is, right there at 230. You know, it's possible we could pull back even further than that. Let's wait on the green dot confirmation and uh, we'll keep an eye on this one as well. I like this. I'm going to add this one in here to our uh, to our list as well. And uh, I got to actually set up alerts on this. So I'll show you guys how I do this. This is just for the Discord though. Uh, we got to go to the settings here. I'll forget if I don't set these up. It's pretty easy to do. Just bang. Uh, once per bar. Market Cypher B. You guys can set these alerts up actually too on your uh, on your trading view. All the links are over there in the Discord. Boom. Okay, so that's going to notify us when the green dot comes there. Oh, why are we on Filecoin? Let me go back here. Okay, so we're not gonna be we're not gonna miss this green dot here on uh on near. That one will be called out. Thanks for this request. Because again, I like the breakout here. Good eyes, good eyes, nice breakout. Okay, now let's pull it on back and rip it. Okay, next green dot will definitely be a buy signal. Twilio was the other uh, alert I wanted to set really quick. Well, it's showing up this week, so bang. Rip, rip. Hey, Spartan Army, baby. Let's go. AVAX. Okay, AVAX, we, we, we kind of took a look at there for a second. But again, very, very good name. Okay, very good name to follow here. Okay, nice breakout. Let's get the pullback. I, again, I'd love to buy this thing around 22. Waiting on the green dot, but that is a big macro breakout. Again, we've been in a downtrend below the 50 for a long time. We're just now breaking out over it, folks. Hallelujah. Let's wait on that pullback, and let's wait on the ripper, folks. That one's looking good. Magic from Highway. The crypto here getting overextended. I'd be selling. I'd be taking profits up here. It is at the 50. So if you want to hold this thing in, do it. I mean, you could set your stop at 84, but I don't, I'm not liking Market Cypher giving me that red. And I don't like how high uh, the stochastic is. The stochastic's at like 77. I want to buy when this thing's on the floor. I want to take profits up in this area. Again, not trying to hit home runs here, but technically this looks like it's going to break down. AKT. Okay, this is another one. This is on our watch list as well. Okay, very strong trend. This one's on the CRO network, the Kronos network. Okay, pump it up, go sideways. Pump it up, drop it down, give the signal, rip it up. Okay, now what are we seeing? We're seeing a sell signal here. So again, if, you, if you're in it, I'd be, I'd be taking profits. I'd be taking some off the table or I'd be taking all of it off the table because I want to buy it lower. I want to buy when the stochastic is back down here. 
and given us a green dot. We want to buy when the stochastic is below at least 20. Okay, right now it's at 77, so we could have a ways to go. And we're we're pretty damn far off that 50 week. I mean, I'd definitely be taking profits here. Okay, you're talking about a 50% drop down to the 50. So again, if you want to hold your position, all the power to you. But if you want to hold through a potential 50% drop, you can't go crying to mama when it happens. Okay, because ideally, if you sell up here and rebuy again down here, you're 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 making a lot more than than just buying and holding through the dips and the rips. I mean, if you're actually going to use technical analysis, if you actually want to try to, you know, time the market, which a lot of people say isn't possible, but I I beg to differ. Okay, because I say if you show me the charts, I'll tell you the news. So again, profit takers on AKT here. But that one is on the watch list. And the next green dot, I believe, will be another buying opportunity just like it was right there as long as we're above that 50 week. That trend right there, super strong. Super strong. Okay, buying all pullbacks on AKT. And that's why it's on the watch list. SPL. You mean SLP? I think you might mean SLP. That one's up there into the into the 50 week. In a downtrend. Not touching it. ICP, here's a good one. This one's also on the list. Okay, I love it. I love the breakout here. We're sitting... I mean, Brim sold at $15, guys. Brim sold at 15 Okay, we anticipated the, the red dot there. He got out. It's It, it hit $9.50 today. That's a 30 or 40% drop that he would have held through. And would it matter in the long run here if we bounce off that and rip? But yes. But if you're selling at 15 and getting back in down here at 7 I mean, you're you're compounding your money like crazy. Okay, so again, we want to buy a bounce. If we hit 753 on ICP, that'd be an excellent entry. Again, what are we waiting for, folks? Waiting for the green dot. Expect some more downside here. It's okay. It's okay. It's healthy for the markets to pull back like this. Okay, let's wait for the bounce and the green dot. Gods. Gods unchained. Rejection. Rejection off the 50. I don't like it. SUI. I don't see a fifty. I don't see a fifty-week moving average on this one. Let me check KuCoin. Let me check Binance. Yeah, I don't see a fifty-week, but I'd be taking profits. Look where Market Cipher is. I I don't want to buy when Market Cipher is way up there. Uh, CRO. Here's a good request. Okay, good coin, fundamental coin here. We broke out over the fifty. Now we're pulling back. Okay, we're pulling back into it. So again, what are we waiting for? We're waiting on the green dot here, folks. Just wait for the green dot here. Okay, there's panic selling right now. Okay, Bitcoin broke a, a very big support level. There was a bunch of people with stop losses sitting probably at 40K. Okay, if you take a look at the daily charts, we're way oversold on the dailies, guys. I mean, the daily charts are just down in the dirt right now. Like they're just trying to flush everybody out right now. Everyone's freaking out. Okay, hold the line. Okay, weekly again, we're in a downtrend. We're in a downtrend because the dot is red. Okay, but again, we're sitting right on that 50 week though. So the next green dot is where we can pounce. Okay, let's wait till that happens. XTZ. Okay, ugly red candle right there and a red dot. Okay, so again, wait for the pullback. Okay, this, this one kind of moves a little weird. It's just been grinding up. I don't know what the deal is with this one. But again, I don't like, technically, I don't like it. It's not above the 50, okay, and it's pointing down, and it's got a red dot. That, that Everything right there is telling me to sell. Okay, I'd use a stop loss at 84 if you want to hang on to it. As long as 84 holds, you're good. Technically, you're good. Okay, this thing kind of is a weak pullbacker, though. Look at this. Boom, pulled back, ripped up. Pulled back, ripped up, okay? Today is the day, guys, like this week, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are buying when stuff is going up. Like if something's up 15%, you guys notice in the Discord how like people are like, they got FOMO, they got the fear of missing out, that they're going to miss out on something if they don't buy when it's up 15%. And then it goes down 15%, it's the exact opposite. They're like, oh, I should sell, I should, I should just sell here. Opposite. You got to have the opposite mindset, folks. Use technical analysis here, folks. I'll look at charts all day. If you guys got questions about charts or chart requests, obviously, I'm I'm here to help, folks. I'll look at the charts all day. Okay. I want to see more contribution from the Spartans and the generals and the, and the people in the Discord. I want to see people calling out charts, a couple of them like we've seen today, right? I want I want people to do fundamental research on tokens 
and stocks, find penny stocks that are that are ripping or whatever the case may be. Okay, it's the same strategy. It just it could apply to any ticker. It could apply to forex stocks, anything. The good thing is to be diversified, okay? But there are times to buy certain things, right? In 2020, it was crypto. 2021 to 2022, it was big tech. It was Facebook. Okay, look at Facebook stock. Okay, we were we were too one-dimensional in, 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 uh, in the past when this channel started. We were too one-dimensional. Okay, we should have been buying Facebook during 2022, 2021. Okay, this thing went up from... 2022 to, I mean, 100, what did it hit? $85 is sitting at $400. So we're not one dimensional anymore. We're watching stocks. We're watching everything, folks. And these charts are just going insane. If the Fed comes out and cuts, like it's going to get crazy. Crypto is going to go absolutely insane. Okay. But if you're asking me, I think big tech, it's too late. I would want it to buy down here, right? Market Cypher, bang, gave me the buy signal right there. Oh my goodness. I was right there at a hundred bucks. Okay. 300% over a year. Not a bad return. You're not going to get that in real estate or anything else. You're definitely not going to get it from Edward Jones paying you 5% a month or a, a year. <laughs> I said a month. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's funny that people give their money to... to, to... It's just people are uneducated. That's all it is. People give their ma uh, their money to so-called money managers. They pay them 5%. But you guys know that inflation's at 9%. So if you're making 5% on your money, if you're investing it to make 5%, you're actually losing 4% by not doing it yourself and not doing the due diligence. Okay, I mean, this stuff isn't rocket science, guys. All it is, is, is buying when it makes sense. I personally believe it, it, it makes sense to buy, uh, buying it at a yearly average price when, when something is in an obvious uptrend. I mean, this would have been the place to buy Bit or, or Facebook right here at the 50, okay, at 170. I mean, you still made 150% on that. I'll take 150% over my Edward Jones 5% any day of the week. Okay, and... It's not rocket science. And do you win every trade? Not really. But I, I would say my strategy is about a 90%, 90% strategy. It it's probably hits 90 to 95% of the time. And when I'm wrong, I know I'm wrong really fast because, again, we use stop losses. Boom. Okay. If there's one thing I learned over the last one or two years, it's to buy when something is in an uptrend, not a downtrend. We should not be buying these green dots when we're, when we're trending down. We want to trade with the trend. Okay, that's my biggest lesson over the last year. Okay, and I'm happy to share it. So buy when stuff is in an uptrend. Buy the bounces off the yearly moving average when we're in an uptrend. And you're going to do all right. Okay, use market cipher. Don't get greedy. Okay, use a stop loss. I mean, it's that. It's really that simple. I can't, I was going to say it's, well, I wasn't going to say it's simple, but it is simple. You just got to be disciplined. And it's a lot easier when you have a community of people that, that uh, have the same vision. Solana. Solana, again, another name pulling back. We, we called that red dot out a couple weeks ago. This thing, I mean, again, another name that has ran 500, 600%. Okay, the average Joe, the sheep in the market is going to buy at that time, while the whales who were loading up down here are going to be selling. Okay, they're taking their 500% and they're saying, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy and the boys, go ahead and say Solana on TV. And all these people just run to their computers and buy it. It actually happens. I mean, that's actually a real thing. I just can't believe the guy still has a job. I can't believe people still listen. It's absolutely insane. He's a puppet. Smart money owns it, guys. There's a big boy. There's a whatever you want to call it, Illuminati, big boy club, big brother club. Okay, and they they own the media channels. So you got to check where you're getting your information from. You got to do your research. You got to do your due diligence. And you got to understand what's going on. Like I said before, if you show me the chart, I will tell you what they're saying on TV. I could tell you what Jim Cramer's saying right now. Based on where we're at on Market Cypher and, and where we're at with the chart. Okay? So again, Solana's 50% off its yearly average price. So it is very expensive right now. Very expensive. 50% higher than the average price. Okay, so let's wait for a pullback on Solana. Back down to the 52. That's right there on the average yearly price. That's that 50 EMA. I'd love to see a bounce off 52 on Solana. That'd be an epic entry. We'll wait for the green dot when it happens. You know, we'll call it out. Mm -mm. I'm deleting these. Sorry, guys. It's just taking up too much, too much room here. So, uh, yeah, if you guys request charts, you're going to have to watch the videos. 
you're going to have to watch the videos. Makes it a lot clearer for me. And that was it. That was it, folks. Uh, you guys got more requests? Again, get them over there. Every time I get 10, I will hop on here and I will make a video for you guys. God bless y'all. If y'all need me, hit me in the Discord. You know I'm over here. We just had a trade alert go off on Twilio. You guys saw that here live on stream. And uh, God bless y'all. I'll see you in the next one.